You're watching Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen. Goddess Kring, Shannon Kring. So, I'm Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring, and this is my tattoo, which means be yourself, be yourself, no matter what they say. I like to say authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow, meaning if you don't block your authentic true self and you allow it to express itself from the depth of yourself, it's like a form of an ejaculation. It's like a form of something that feels wonderful and it's from deep within you and it's your own personal unique DNA spewing forth and it's kind of like authentic ejaculation of my soul molten orange liquid glow meaning the the passion within you will you will glow if you're your true self whereas if you're your fake self and you block that and you constipate that then perhaps you will not be shining and glowing like a star that you are right now it is May of 2009, almost June of 2009. I am 40 years old and I am feeling frustrated with myself because I have a lot of creative talent and I have not been fully indulging in focusing on valuing my expression. I have been mostly watching a lot of movies lately um, and getting kind of lost in that, although maybe that's really feeding me and inspiring me right now. Listening to lots of music, listening to lots of some Bjork, Tom Petty, um, Bob Dylan, Edie Brickell, Tori Amos, the new Tori Amos uh, CD, um, enjoying the song called Give on Abnormally Attracted to Sin by Tori Amos and kind of been filling up my Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Just look Goddess Kring. Look for Goddess Kring on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. And I've been kind of getting carried away with, uh, blipping my musical um, favorite music. Lots of Bob Dylan, lots of Tom Petty, Tori Amos, Edie Brickell, uh, Beck, Moby, Bjork, Beck and Bjork and Moby and Tori. And Neil Young, and little David Bowie, and a little um, Sting, and the police, and um, just Tom Waits, Jason Webley, sometimes I like bits and pieces of Amanda Palmer, lots of great music out there. Um, but the more I listen to other people's music, and I love it and I fall in love with it, the more it distracts me from creating my own music. And then there's also an artist in Australia, a visual artist named Hazel Dooney, and I her work, I don't know if I'm completely in love with the style or energy of her work as much as I love her drive and her passion and her dedication and her focus to her work. And so I've been listening to interviews with her, and she lives somewhere near Sydney in Australia, and um, interesting artist that I met on Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Um, so I've been distracted with that, although there is a balance of yin and yang of an artist that needs to experience other creative people and be fed by that, but then you have to kind of be alone and do your whole solitude thing. And I used to be really good at being alone and doing my own creative thing and then sharing it. And it seems like lately I have been really into listening to other people's music and looking at other people's artwork and photography and um, movies and music and all that and losing touch with my own Shannon Kringenisms, which is a little sad to me. 
and I've been feeling like like I need to find a new way to make a living. I'm 40 right now and I've been um, making a living as a figure model for I've been doing it for 17 years um, part-time but full-time since 97 which means 12 years. I've been full-time making a living as a figure model which kind of barely pays my bills and kind of keeps me at a poverty level and I would like to find a new way to make a living because when you're a figure model you for art classes you work at like 15 different art schools and you're always on call and my schedule is is like it's never quite full enough but sometimes I work several days a week but it's like not 40 hours and that's like that's a mundane boring thing I'm talking about but I just wanted to bring it up because it's like I'm frustrated I spend a lot of effort just trying to maintain getting a lot of modeling gigs and then that drains me and takes me away from doing my own artwork so I feel like if I found an easier more regular way of making a living then perhaps I could focus better on my creativity doing my weekly show um, showing my stuff at galleries just you know improving my website my website is shannonkringen.com and you know it's kind of a fun website but I have to say I, I'm, I, I don't I'm, I'm mad at myself for not improving my website I don't I'm not happy with it right now at this point and I hope to revamp the whole thing so I feel frustrated right now but at least I'm talking and recording something new and fresh and uh, my message to you the viewer is to listen to your heart and follow your own bliss and don't let other people discourage you from that be yourself no matter what they say and don't back down in the words of Thomas Earl Petty don't back down um, yeah be yourself don't back down be true to yourself be good to yourself you know I need this advice as much as I think some of the viewers like you need it I need to listen to my own advice which is to value myself and create a more sacred space around myself that's one of the things I like the most about Tori Amos is I, I feel this incredible strength that she has of creating a sacred space around herself um, because she is a very unique musician and she has a very unique way and I can sense a lot of anger inside of her and rage and and also compassion and sensitivity and sweetness mixed with this sort of like really strong almost frightening and angry kind of energy and I like the fact that she's found a way to create a sacred space around herself for her to create in the best way that she can and then share it with people and I feel like I used to have a more of a goddess kring thing around me you know like the Wizard of Oz like Shannon Kringen is perhaps just the little man behind the curtain and perhaps goddess cream used to be sort of like the Wizard of Oz kind of a thing kind of a thingy Mick Jagger if you know what I mean so I feel like I've lost touch with that a little bit with my dreamy strong powerful I don't know I feel like I need to get that back but I also need to let go and forgive and just accept things as they are paradoxically accept things as they are and then the gates of change can open whereas if you try to change things they'll probably stay the same but ironically and paradoxically if you let go and forgive and accept things as they are and hold a vision of what you want but kind of let that go and accept things as they are then there's more of a relaxation that takes place that allows things to transform and evolve and change naturally Art Cage Tale from the Card Game Day of Yester.